So if you, just for the sake of an example, let's say this here represents a four minute interval. So VO2, you know, you have a resting VO2 is somewhere down here. And then during the interval, there's this fast phase, right? It goes up and somewhere here close to VO2 max. And then there comes the recovery period. Great. So if you look at the time, for example, if you look at the time very popular in the literature above 90% of VO2 max, right? You have this area, so to speak, here, which is spent at a high VO2 max. This is the area you want to increase. You want to maximize, you want to increase the time spent at a high VO2 max. That works pretty good for athlete A. Athlete B, however, VO2 max is running 60 watts. He's only exercising at 300 because he's taking 120% 100%, of 250 watts. VO2 max, VO2 down here is, you know, resting value. Then it goes up, it will go up slower. Okay, so kinetics is already slower because the intensity is not that high. Okay, it will go up a little bit slower and then it will only go up here, right? Not all the power is zero, but it will just stay below this equivalent, equivalent of 300 watts and then it will drop again. So it's actually not tapping into that high percentage of VO2 max utilization. And this is again, according to peer-reviewed, well-established literature, the key to improve VO2 max itself.